Alright, <clears throat> all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about uh, some wrestling news. So, uh, I talked about, obviously, Bray Wyatt uh, in the video last night, passing away uh, unexpectedly. Uh, but we got the, obviously, all the tributes pouring in, Matt Hardy, Big E, Swerve Strickland, AW, Impact, uh, Everybody paying tribute to Bray Wyatt. Just want to thank him for giving us uh, Wyndham Rotunda, uh, his real name, for giving us Bray Wyatt. Uh, the Rock, a bunch of tributes pouring in uh, yesterday, today. But really, for, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, basically the reason uh, he passed away, Sean Ross Sapp. Uh, he was given permission. Uh, he was basically, basically here giving permission of why uh, Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt, uh, passed away. So, he was given permission uh, to reveal uh, that earlier this year that Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt, he got COVID that excavated uh, a heart issue. So, he had uh, some lingering uh, COVID effects. So, um, there was a there was a lot of positive progress towards the return and his recovery. We talked about it uh, before he passed away. There was a some positive progress, and it was towards the return uh, and his recovery. But unfortunately, uh, what caused him to pass away? Uh, he uh, suffered a heart attack and he uh, passed away. They didn't have to share this, but perhaps it also. Uh, we'll just it put uh, basically stops all the speculation. And it was it had been well established that COVID could create heart p problems. Um, speculate speculating otherwise, people did were just probably disrespectful, especially so soon after. And it had been well known COVID could create those type of heart problems. And he just uh, unexpectedly had a heart attack. I mean, that's saw what happened. Uh, that was basically his uh, cause of death. Um, he suffered, unfortunately uh, suffered a heart attack after um, he was getting better. Uh, it's just, just, just sucks. It just sucks, man. I'm gonna miss Bray Wyatt. So, uh, Next thing is uh, Daddy B, uh, and then per Daddy B, uh, so they said in the wake of Bray Wyatt's death after he passed away, uh, Daddy B will donate all net proceeds to support JoJo uh, Offerman, uh, his wife, and uh, his uh, children, I think four children. It just sucks, like his young children growing up without, um, without their dad, uh, Bray Wyatt. So he's only 36, man. I mean, it's the right call and the right move to um, to donate all the net proceeds. Nothing but class here, classy move from WWE. Say what you want to say what you want about WWE, but in these type of situations, uh, they handle it really well. Uh, AEW then porting a uh, had a tribute for uh, Wyndham uh, on their uh, Twitter. If you want to check that out. Uh, Braun Strowman uh, talked about Bray Wyatt. Uh, I, his IG post, which is a uh, pretty, uh, pretty sad as well. I can't imagine what him and Eric Rowan are going through, man. Because you, they were both devastated. Obviously, obviously, you know Brody Lee, Luke Harper, after his death. I can only imagine this one being even more difficult. It's just, it just sucks. It really does. So, another, um, in honor by WWE, uh, they have added a best of Bray Wyatt section on Peacock, uh, his greatest moments, and WWE, a best of Bray Wyatt. Uh, it, it's just, this, his passing is just hitting a lot of us fans hard, man. It, it's just hit so many people, just so, so many hard about this. And it just sucks. Yeah. So, um, 
at least some good news here that I want to get to for a moment after the first about five minutes of talking about sad news about Bray Wyatt. Bronson Reed, um, he, him and his wife, they're expecting uh, their first child. So it's good news when we need it. So at least some good news here to talk about. It's news we uh, needed to hear. Um, finally, some at least some good positive news to talk about. Um, congratulations to Bronson Reed. Big Bronson Reed. The colossal Bronson Reed. So hopefully a, a healthy kid for uh, Bronson Reed and uh, his wife. So AEW, they've discussed a Captain Insano match for All In. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully that's scrap. Because I really don't want to see that, man. Uh, so, WWE, they're bringing in two stars tonight for tonight's SmackDown. Uh, so, they're bringing in Cody, uh, Cody Rhodes tonight. And Braun Strowman, it's not, it's not clear if he's going to be on the show, but he might be, I don't know. But they're bringing in Cody and uh, Braun. Uh, tonight, probably a bunch of others as well. Uh, Dusty Rhodes was very close with with the Watts' uh, uncle, I'm sure, and he probably his dad. Cody was probably a bit close, and he was this NXT pro when he was Husky Hair, so I assume they're they're pretty close. So they're bringing in two star those two uh, tonight. Um, and uh, WWE's Gable Stevenson is announced for the 2023 World Championships in Freestyle Wrestling. Well, so far his pro wrestling work and mic skills do not impress. He should be announced to uh, prison soon. So, WWE SmackDown segment was pulled uh, for tonight's show. Uh, Bray Wyatt tribute planned uh, with Terry Funk as well, basically a tribute show with like uh, video packages, uh, some promos as well. It, it still feels like a bad dream. It, it's, it's how you've probably felt when uh, Eddie Guerrero died uh, as well. It just it just felt like a bad dream. And he looked so healthy in a recent video uh, Bray Wyatt did with a fan, and it's just crazy how something like that can happen just instantly. But yeah, the segment that was pulled tonight is Jey Uso. Uh, segment was tonight. His uh, segment uh, is scrapped because obviously the Bray Wyatt tribute, basically a tribute show. And I'm sure his fireflies uh, will show up tonight as well. Probably have like a 10 bell salute. I hope the crowd's great tonight. It's just crazy how they can look healthy in a recent video with a fan and then the next time we hear about it, he, he's gone. It's just sucks. It's awful. So, uh, per BWA, as I just mentioned, uh, there will be a tribute uh, for both Terry Funk and Bray Wyatt tonight on SmackDown as the show will go on. So, you're basically gonna be, it's basically going to be tributes throughout the night from match types uh, to promos uh, from BWA. So, it's basically going to be like a whole tribute show to those two. It seems like it'll be similar to the Eddie Guerrero celebration on Raw where they did matches too. So, I'm basically, I don't see this being a major L. We should really just appreciate the effort on just such a short note. And basically, tribute matches and promos, I mean, the matches will talk about Bray and so on as matches. Not, I'm not really sure. But I think it means wrestlers and employees talk about Bray's and Terry's best matches as they remember both. So it's basically still a tribute show to basically uh, sum it up. Just, just so unprepared for SmackDown tonight. Just mentally. 
Just shocked and all disbelief, heartbreak, just struggling. Reading like all the stories, the tributes pouring in. Even John Cena put one out this morning. But uh, uh, Rob Fee, uh, he's a, a director of Long Term Creative with Daddy B. He's a close friend of Bray Wyatt, who's sadly no longer with us. He says tonight's SmackDown will be really special. It's just gonna be tough to watch. I just, you know, trying to try not to just get emotional during it. It's it's hard not to. Uh, but uh, per BWA, another thing ahead of t of a tough night, the lantern will be shut off forever tonight. <laughs> I'm just not ready to see it, man. I'm just not ready for this. I'm definitely I'm gonna review SmackDown tonight. Uh, obviously, I review SmackDown. It's, it's gonna be a tough show. Uh, just to go through mentally. Uh, just want just want to share the re pretty much the rest of the news about uh, basically just news wrestling. Uh, but yeah, it's really um, all I have to talk about. So, um, till next time, have a lot. Peace.